live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So where I'm at right now is um Okay, here we go. So why I'm where I'm at right now is, you know, I'm at the, uh, in Gunnersville, uh, obviously this is the lake right here, um, so, um, what gave me an idea of, um, doing this newscast, actually, um, this is, uh, another introduction that I'm doing, um, remember when I did, uh, did a landing, uh, introduction over there last time before, you know, the coronavirus, um, stuff happens, the reason I haven't, um, done any videos lately is because you know I'm trying to catch up on bills I had a lot of business I had to do so yeah that's what's been going on since you know um, the coronavirus has been uh, affecting a lot of people and over like uh, millions and millions of people have lost their jobs so um, it sucks you know had to be in America where um, um, the country um, the this is uh, the country that has the uh, the most uh, deaths around the world than uh, anywhere else so um, I kind of feel scared because you know um, at first when I heard about this uh, coronavirus stuff I thought um, older people with pre-existing health problems can get it and you know die from it but um, once I read more into it and looked into uh, more into it um, just to find out that younger people as myself can get it too and die as well so, um, I've been hearing about that. It's pretty scary. You know that? So, um, yeah. And, um, uh, right now, um, I am, uh, walking back to my car and stuff. And, you know, got me a little groceries and stuff. You know, I haven't been, uh, out lately except, um, places where you can get peace and quiet. Not too many people out here. But, you know, once I came down here, I thought it's going to be empty, to be honest with you. But, um, as it turns out, there's a lot of people here today. So, um. You know, like uh, other people in the news people just said, just keep your distance, stay away from people, stop, uh, keep from spreading, spreading the virus and stuff. So um, that's very good practice right there. And uh, and the uh, other thing that I don't like about this virus is, you know, you can't go to the store late at night if you want something to eat. Except a via very few convenience stores that are open um, in the Huntsville, Alabama area and anywhere else. So. Um, sorry if I'm, you know, breathing really hard and, you know, I'm very tired from all that walking. I have to walk all the way back to my car, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, you're getting good exercise. So, that's a positive thing right there. And this beautiful sunset, um, and, you know, a beautiful scenery right here. Um, last time I was here, um, it was back in 2014, which is almost six years ago. Can you believe that? Um, As you can see, the last time you saw me so over here, I had... A little bit, bit of hair right here Just on my chin, you know, right here, and ever since and, uh, then it started growing and growing, and you know, just, just look like at me now, I have a full beard. So. You just feel your um, under yeah, it. some of you people may have uh, longer beards than me, um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, good to have hair, but you know, I'm losing a lot of my hair on top, you can see right here, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so what I'm cooking tonight is, uh, gives hamburger patties, um, got me some buns, I had a good deal, um, well, I shouldn't have got buns, because that's a lot of buns, um, but, you know, you know, I can eat it plain, uh, without hamburger and all that stuff, because, you know, I like eating bread, but besides, you know, eating all that, um, junk food and all that stuff, you know, I've been eating a lot of fruits, I've been drinking a lot of water, and, you know, I've been cutting back on soda, Man, I'm trying to get these bumps on my face to go away, so, um, yeah. But anyways, this is not the reason I'm doing this newscast. Um, we're almost five minutes in, um, and, you know, just been goofing around and stuff. But anyways, um, the reason I'm doing this newscast because, you know, once I came down here, and, you know, it's kind of very different from Ditto Landing, uh, because, you know, once I came down here, it's very beautiful, has a lot of lakes, beautiful sunset, you know, Maybe the bridge, there's no bridge, but you know, I think it's all worth it, worth it once you, uh, it's worth drive down here from Huntsville. A good, uh, 30, uh, 40 minute drive, um, sometimes 20, I don't know, but anyway, it's, uh, probably a good distance, you know, drive, um, if you, uh, 
want to, you know, um, get out, um, enjoy time for yourself, your family, friends, you know. And, you know, I just, uh, made this, uh, little, um, video on Facebook in the, uh, story, um, section where, um, I told y'all that, um, I wish I had a woman with me and all that stuff. I mean, well, I really, I wish I had someone else that, you know, enjoy this beautiful evening with me. So, but, and anyway, that's okay. You know, it's just, you know, just, uh, cool, to, you know, to be by yourself and all that stuff. Beautiful sunset, enjoying time for yourself. You know, I got this backpack on because, you know, I've been thinking of uh, logo designs down here. So, kind of, you know, kind of get a peace and quiet around here. Uh, depending where you're at and all that stuff. So, yeah. But, um, anyways, um, so, um, like, I can show you, um, where I'm, where do you know, where do you, where you can sit, but, you know, it's very different from Deer Lane, because, you know, there's no trash, um, like, people don't litter here, um, I think the city is very strict, um, about littering and stuff, um, but, you know, in Deer, Deer Lane in Huntsville, I don't know why people won't, uh, care about, you know, picking up trash, or people not picking up behind themselves, uh, because, you know, they're very selfish, you know, it's very bad on the city, and, and, you know, I guess people just don't care, you know, about nature and stuff, because, you know, Huntsville's a big city, I mean, people do stupid stuff, very selfish stuff, they don't care about, you know, the environments and stuff, but, you know, me, I'm a very different person, because, you know, I don't even litter, I mean, once I see trash, I mean, like, when I eat, you know, when I, you know, have trash, you know, I just pick it up and just find a tra nearest trash can, I mean, I just don't leave it there on the ground, and be like, oh, you know, well, people don't, people ain't gonna notice anyway if you litter, I mean, but, as for me, like, you know, I don't like to litter, I don't like, you know, putting waste on the ground that's very, very hazardous for nature, for the animals, because, you know, they can choke on that stuff, really, so, and, you know, here's the area that, you know, people walk by, and, you know, where the, uh, water is, um, when you, once you, once I get to it and see it, um, you will uh, see, uh, you will notice it very differently, so, um, because, you know, like I said, there is no trash, you know, people like the, uh, park rangers and all that stuff, people that, you know, own this park are very strict about it, so, there's a lot of signs everywhere, you know, saying no littering, you know, see a gunner's gonna swim at your own risk and all that stuff, and, you know, like, um, see this yellow tape right here, um, by the parks, you know, Alabama's very strict about that, and since, you know, this virus is coming out, so, um, like, you know, just like the people said, keep your distance, don't, you know, go to, uh, heavily populated areas, you know, even though, um, I'm in, in, uh, heavily populated area, I've been keeping my distance lately, so, um, of course, I haven't been getting, gotten sick, I mean, if I did, I wouldn't be even doing this newscast right now, so, I just wanna, you know, do some tasks to, you know, um, tell y'all that I'm okay, really, so, you know, I don't think I'm gone, like, you know, hmm, yeah, so, you see this polo right here, it's, you know, been rained heavily, like, two days ago, today is Tuesday, um, so, you know, the bathrooms are still closed from winter, you know, I just want this, uh, coronavirus to, uh, you know, go away, and, you know, I hope it's over with soon, like, uh, I just read an article say they will extend the stay-at-home order till, uh, April 30th or something like that, or at least till May, so I don't know, so, hopefully this will pass, you know, and uh, hopefully everything will go back to normal, because honestly, you know, I've been getting good business, but honestly, I've just been tired of being stuck at home all the time, so, uh, that's why I thought I wanted to get out, you know, uh, enjoy this beautiful day you know, to myself, so, yeah, um, but, um, yeah, so, um, it's a very long walk to my car, but, you know, and, you know, and, uh, I will catch you when I, you know, get to my, uh, car, and, you know, I'll tell y'all the rest of the story. Okay, so, I'm back, um, I'm at my car now, you know, it took me a little while to get settled down, but, you know, I'm back, so, um, really what I'm talking about is, you know, it gave me an idea, you know, compare Deer Landing uh, with, you uh, Gunnersville Lake and stuff, because, you know, two different parks are very different for each other, like, this one where I'm at right here now, the Gunnersville Park, it's barely no trash here, um, 
Dylan is a very different story. Once you uh go uh behind uh uh the backwoods of it, you know, you will see a lot of trash like I showed you the last time and I uh told you in the previous video that I was gonna do newscast in Dylan. But, you know, I think I changed my mind on that. I think I wanna do a comparison with uh Dylan and Guns Relate to see uh the two different things, um uh, which is uh the like um what's the word I'm looking for? Um determining the sceneries and all that stuff, uh the parks, you know, the recreation, um uh, how big the lake is, you know, how big the water is and all that stuff. It's very two different things from each other. So um I hope you um enjoy uh what uh I have in store for y'all. Um and of course um I haven't forgot about the guidelines. Let's not forget about that. You know, I'm still developing it. You know, it may be the summer, it may uh be uh next month. Um who knows? It may be in the fall. So uh, I don't know, but you know, we'll see what happens from there. So um I'm gonna sign off for now. So um I hope you enjoy this newscast. So um yeah, so until next time, I'm Jerome Harden. I'm founder and graphic designer of Jerome Martin Studios. I'm out. Peace.